You ever wake up butt naked at the butt crack of dawn just to stumble on your grandpa skinny dipping in the ocean with a couple of mer sharks with wings the size of the main mast of a ship? Well, that's what it feels like to drive an Al Ford Truss F-150. Built tough. Greetings everyone, welcome back to Just Roll With It. My name is none of your concern. Today, I have a particular quest for you. If you have the gall to accept it, this is the party that will be joining you. The council. Hello. I'm Bisley. I played Chip. I can't see in this. Hello, everybody. I apologize. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> My name is Connor Fiction. And I played Jay Farron. Yeah, I'm so fresh. And I'm so cold. I have to keep putting on more layers and layers. If you can even hear me out there, beyond all my layers and robes and blankies, my name is Charlie Slimesicle. And I play you. And now, before we just roll with it, I will reveal my true face. <gasps> He's never done this before. Not even he spoke of this day. Is this even? Could it the be? The scriptures, the scriptures they spoke of this day. The walls, the walls, they spoke of this. <coughs> my cursed amulet has led me to this moment. My, my ball, my ball. My grandma, my grandma, this. she mentioned this on our Sunday dinner. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my God. Where we last left off, the three of you. Chip. After the loss of Alphonse and your fight against the Electrodon, you gave a speech to the rest of your crew, heroically, and then uh, had a bit of a chat with Queen. Jay, you and Ollie decided to spend your time together figuring out a way to finish the sort of magical canon RNG project that Alphonse was going to bring to you, but instead decided that maybe, just maybe, you could take the chip that now housed his, uh, for lack of a better term, soul, and... Combine it with this blueprint and maybe combine Alphonse with your ship. Oh, my mad scientist art. The Alphonse Atros. Gillian, you used the bracelets and entered the mine of your peepaw and was able to, after experiencing this imagery of memories that he's had as they floated in bubbles and popped, you woke him up with the grandson suplex special. <laughs> <laughs> the people and then press. decided to use your legend lore scroll you picked up from Rufus's shop on the map that was revealed to be on Finn, Andre, and mysteriously on Chip. The three of you, captains of the Riptide Pirates, just huddled around with your crew and read this ominous, vague passage that the scroll provided. And so, the journey continues. Before you go to sleep for this night and continue your travels and continue your, you know, refreezing of the ice cube that keeps the ship afloat and building <laughs> the, uh, the the mechanism with Ollie. sleep too. If there's anything else you want to do before you long rest and continue your travel in those checks, you may do so. So, how long have I not slept for? How many days has it been? I think the DC has risen to 25 now, started at okay. 10. Just wondering how sleep deprived I am, because it informs what I'm about to do. You're pretty sleep deprived. It's definitely been at least cool. two days of doing these checks, right? Um, I'm pretty sure. You probably <laughs> got around right, two or like, three days left. Six, six, six. Um, I, I, go, I go up to Jay 
Hey, Jay, I've been having a lot of thoughts lately, and I was wondering if you could help me with this, with a little art project. I figured since you're always, always putting stuff together, maybe you could help me out with this. An art project? Yeah, I mean... An art project? I was just, since Grand Peepa woke up, he's looking for his books, and I thought, yeah. um, I thought maybe it would help him understand what's going on if we made a little book for him. So, like, what, what do you want to do, like... Like drawing or like drawing some of um oh what do you call it um words and um yeah okay the multiple so when you you can turn it and there's more of it so like a story a story yes, like, yes, a, like a book or like of a, a story can like we do big, non big non fictional and, can we do big pictures and big words is there a way to do that like a pop up book. Yes. Oh, that, uh, yeah, like a pop-up book. Yeah, that's great. I don't know yeah. what that is, but that sounds great. It's like a book, but it, the images pop up at you. Sounds dangerous. They have dangerous a bunch of them at the libraries and 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 zero. Okay. Yeah, Ollie, do you want to help make the pop-up book? <gasps> yes. Yes. yes I, oh, it, I, it, it it will be glorious. Ollie, you can be our artist. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I can't draw very well. Do you want to be a color? I, you can be a colorist. Yes. And our publisher will need one. Yes. Yeah, yes. You... I can do those things. Okay. You can bind the book, maybe? I don't know. We only need one book, right? I can to... help you cut out stuff. And We'll see, Jay, we'll see where this goes. We could franchise <laughs> it if he, if he really likes it. Yeah, okay. Cut yeah. it up. Yes, you'll turn it into 3D. All right. We've got something good here, guys. This is going to be big. This is so going to be a film in a year, exactly. Jay. What are we, we going to put in the book? <laughs> Don't worry. I've got it all. I've got it all figured out. You're going to have to let me write. You're going to need to give me my creative space. Okay. I trust you two with the vision. But it's a story so that he doesn't forget about about me, about you, about everyone, everyone on this ship and, and how far we've all come. Yeah, okay. Well, it sounds fun. Um, you know, I'm willing to take some downtime away from working on the ship. A little bit. It, it's fine. <laughs> Do, oh, oh, hang on. Uh, uh, w one second. Feels like uh, the ground is not usually tilted at 30 degrees. <laughs> Run down, <laughs> refreeze it, right back up. Okay, looking good. Yeah, you actually already froze it or refroze it before you guys did the scroll. Cool. I look around at Jay and Ollie and I go, okay, well, now it feels like it's a multi person thing, so I feel like we should. We've got already you guys, and I go down, and I wake up Chip, and I say, <laughs> Hey, Chip. <laughs> I start fighting in the air. <laughs> okay. I start <laughs> punching. I start punching. He punches me in the head. <laughs> How would you like to be famous? Sure. What are your, what are your artistic, artistic skills? What are your strong suits? Are, are you, you a words guy? Are you a pictures guy? Hi, Jay. She's also here. And Ollie. We're both standing I, over your bed. <laughs> I, get, I get up out of bed and kind of move away from them. Uh, well, stay down. We don't know. Just <laughs> push it back into bed. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of stuff you're cut out of? I don't... I don't know. I can... spin you a tail, or... uh, I can draw you something. You've seen my artwork. Okay, that's 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 pretty good. You could, you well, could maybe flash, help us with the draw. You could do the line art on the flag, drawing boobies. <laughs> yeah, I also. Gilling, Gilling, his drawing was really bad. He does have a good point. He has a substantial portfolio. I can hear you know you. what I'm saying, right? You're right over my bed. <laughs> well, I just like look down at him and I keep no. whispering. I don't know if we need this guy. I'll need to consult <laughs> with my coworkers for a second, and I turn back. Um, I yeah, think we so go. Like I think it's guy, in the budget. I think it's in the budget. You think so? You sure? I, I think we can make this work. I mean, I don't I, know I if like, he's got like the talent, but he's got the heart. I, look, and, I make and, eye contact with Chip for like a solid five seconds. It's very uncomfortable. I look at I you, I have that like jobs. blank stare of I've just woken <laughs> up. It's the, it's the SpongeBob gross up. <laughs> I don't think he's got the chops, Gillian. I don't know if he can do it. What do you think your biggest weakness is? I work too hard. Your aim. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking predator handshake him. Um, I see that we've now got Ollie, Chip, and Jay. Fuck. We're gonna need an editor. <laughs> I run up 
Um, I'm going to break into where um, uh, Griffin is sleeping um, and say, Griffin, how would you, you like to be in, famous? He uh, hops out of his hammock, barrel rolls, and then points his gun right at your face. <sighs> That's Come right. On. You always, you, you're you used to hunting for monsters, but how do you feel about hunting for errors? You really got a okay. knock or something. I did. You were snoozles. Anyways, what is this? You're in. <laughs> <laughs> As they're talking, I want to lean over to Jay and go, what are we doing? Yeah, what are we um, doing? Gillian wants to make a book for, for Finn about, I think, about <gasps> our adventures so he doesn't forget us or like Dre or... I thought it was like a movie or something. You can learn on the job. Um, <laughs> uh, I look around. Um, oh my God, we can do a play. Oh, shit, this is really Wait, growing in uh, scope. We're gonna need someone for music. I, I break into Queen's on. room. Wait, <laughs> wait. Yes, Ollie? Wait, is the book about our adventures? Why, yes, Ollie, it is. Got the manuscript right here. Uh, and, I, and I pull it out. I've written it in my two day sleepless night delirium. Um. There's not a single period or a comma. But. It's all in capital letters because those are stronger and win. <laughs> um. Um, insight check. I'm insight God, checking Ollie. What? <laughs> oh, on Ollie? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought you meant on me for a second. Like I was dirty like, 20. Holy shit. And mostly because I want to figure out if, if you know, maybe the vibe is that he wrote about our adventures in his journal and he doesn't want to... You know. Very specific insight. <laughs> yeah. Intellectual. Oh my god! Intellectual property infringement. <laughs> um, and I don't Ollie, want to step on that. <laughs> Ollie looks like he has done something similar that could be useful in this moment, but he he doesn't want to say it. He he definitely looks like. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe maybe we could wait until we're done in zero million. There are a lot of spelling errors in here. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No, I get it. I get it. You want a you want a part of the you want a cut. You want a cut, huh? It all comes down to the royalties. It's fine. Um I look at Ollie. I'm gonna try and do an insight check too as I kinda squint at him. I got royalties. An I got no, an I'm not I'm not I got a an prince. eleven. Can I tell what his deal is? He definitely looks a little nervous and slightly embarrassed. Ollie, are you familiar with the collab? <laughs> the what? The collab, Ollie. Sampling, you know what I'm saying? Is it like science? Sure. A lab? No, 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 no. A collab. Exposure. Influence. Two you labs. see, if you've already if you've oh. already got something, I've got something here too. Maybe we can do a little uh, a little we can link up and build. And if you've got something you like. You know, maybe we can we can you know put the put these things together, make it make it something real special. Roll persuasion. Fifteen. So Ollie is going to pull on Gillian's wrist to whisper in his ear, which I'll have you guys uh, deafen for. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Um. Yeah. Jay. Jay was just trying to like influence Gillian to hold off until Ollie was gone because yeah, that's what though. he said with the uh, <laughs> journal. Um, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'll deafen now. So Ollie grabs your wrist as after looking at the other two and noticing that Jay notices that he's looking a little uh, sweaty. I see. You want to cut him out of the deal. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We can no, do it. Um, They'll never see it coming. Okay, There's no contracts. Okay, sh no, shut up. Sh be quiet. Okay, what's up? It's not about money or queens and kings. It's about... Well, I made something that... Well... I mean, it has everything that I've seen, like a bunch of drawings already, and huh. and, and 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 writings, like thoughts, and, and it. Well, I thought it'd be a good gift for you guys when I'm gone that you can read through, so that you guys would remember everything that we've 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 been through, and so you wouldn't forget about me when I was gone. I'm gonna just, um, I'll just bring him in, give him a hug. Um, don't worry, I, w I won't spoil the surprise for Chipper Jay. Okay. Honestly, Ollie, this is like a 
six line third grade level rhyming picture book that I was gonna make for my grandpa. Um, <laughs> that I just thought could be something really cool so that he remembers, you know, everyone on the crew. Um, especially people that have helped us so much come this far like you. But I totally understand if, if you, um, if you don't want to do that and you and you want to keep this this journal, I won't go forward with this with this little little silly idea. Well, we can collab. Maybe compromise. What's um? Wh- what else would you want that if you were having trouble remembering people? Maybe name tags. We could write songs. Oh, <laughs> Gillian looks. At the, he pulls out his manuscript, <laughs> and he looks at the like, like fucking like ten what? page thing he's written. It's got like all these revisions. And he's like, we, yeah, na- yeah, we, yeah. We can do name tags. We, I only, I only made like a notebook, but maybe we could do like a musical, or like a play, or you could write your book. I don't mind. No, it's no, just, it's 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 okay. You 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 made something beautiful. And I am uh, not gonna take away from that. It's cool. Uh, and, I, and he crumples up the <laughs> the, <laughs> the paper um, and throws it in a in a trash bin across the fucking deck. Um, well, I. It looked like you worked so hard on it. Yeah, I did. He runs over. He pulls it out. <laughs> he crumples it. So, here, here. Do you want to take a look and give me your honest honest thoughts? I mean, if it's really silly, maybe it's. Why don't, don't we make this for Finn and you guys hold on to what I made for you? Yeah. This will come from you. It'll probably that, that, be different. That, that sounds that sounds great. Honestly, um But yeah, how the, do we the picture help? book was really just for Finn. I'm bad at drawing and writing and creating <gasps> what if, things. What if, what if, okay. I think we can I think we yeah. can bring the, the other two back yeah. into the fold. I have an idea. Okay. You see Gillian crumble something up, throw it in the trash. All he says something, Gillian scurries over on all fours, gets it back, scurries back <laughs> over. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, so you uh, guys have just kind of walked away and started talking to yourselves? You just for, whispered, for like, right, yeah, yeah, like, right, I, was I, I want, I want to have taken the manuscript and just started reading out of it. Oh, uh, he had... <laughs> it's a J. And the massive sausages all yeah, attacked not, Gillian, not. and he killed them, and it was awesome. He beat everybody. And then mm-hmm. they had pancakes. What page is that That's on? That's was... book two, you stupid fuck. And I <laughs> kick him off the ship. <laughs> uh, I, okay, so I had an I, idea I was talking to Gillian. There's a lot of lore that still has to be established for any of that to work. You don't you, get it yet. You, you don't understand the, the canon. Future? Are you going to make us pancakes? Well, what if well, we have we have Gillian's uh, manuscript that he wrote about your adventures. So what if we go around and we make this a big crew thing and we get everyone we interview our friends and then we get their part of the story or their story before this and then we include it in this big picture book of the ripped high pirates okay yeah that's a lot more uh work <laughs> to, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean like you know i feel like before no, it's this okay. all i felt like this, i was this told this it was like a quick two five days. minutes thing, but... yeah, yeah this is like just the super bare bones yeah, okay. can we just like Flash through each of the crew and members do, like, sitting in a little, yeah, little like room. In, in an office, like in the office, kind of like reaction That's kind great. of thing. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's think of one pressing question we'd ask each of the MPs, uh, each of the crew. A series of interviews, piecing together <laughs> the greatest story of all time. <laughs> Sounds like a job for the Riptide journalists. <laughs> Smash cut over to a room. There's one light on Griffin. We're <laughs> all sitting there. We're I, looking um, at him. So I Griffin, thought I was the editor. Yeah, you are the editor. But Edit this, we've... and I throw a glass of water in his face. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your, what's your, what's your motive? Careful, or my partner's gonna throw more water at you. He's a cannon. Well, actually, he's like the only one with a gun in this room. I feel like we shouldn't be throwing water at him. It's, the, you know, whatever. So hey, where so, were you on the day of, like, like a couple days ago, and how did you feel about it? I was on this ship. Mm-hmm. Um, a, you a, you used to be a bounty hunter. 
How much yeah. money did you earn via that job? Yeah, I looked out of my notes and I looked back up. <laughs> Guys, I don't think this is anything. <laughs> <laughs> before taxes. How much did you earn before taxes? Yeah, what's Gross on income. your what's on your ten ninety nine? Like six hundred thirty thousand gold. Holy shit, we should be bounty hunters. And then <laughs> like fifty percent went to my arm. And then that arm cost three hundred thousand gold. Yeah. Around there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. That song from Ferris Bueller is playing. Was oh, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, very insightful. Thank you for your time. <laughs> we cut over. We're talking to Earl. <laughs> Earl, you're bald. Uh, uh, no, I have one hair. I got one single strand. You numb nut. Oh. Um, how did you get into the juice making business? Well, one night I got absolutely knackered, bruv, and then I woke up in the middle of a clearing. On Laughing Lot, with dirt all over my in, my winkers, and I looked up and I saw this beautiful fairy, covered in moss. Winters. She waved at me, and I followed her deep into the woods. And that's how I met your mother. Can uh -huh. I say check on whatever the fuck that is? I look up from my notepad again at the other two solemnly and shake my head. <laughs> like I don't know. We cut to us. It's black and white in a room with shutters. Everywhere we went, it was a dead end. <laughs> <laughs> oh no one God. seemed to have the right answers. Not the ones we were looking for, anyway. Not when the answers took. we did find just led to more questions. And the questions we had didn't have answers. Only <laughs> leading to more questions. And the down truth and is... Down. Endless and endless. And then she walked in. <laughs> I look over at the door. Pretzel slides under it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Another mystery. What do you guys actually want to do with this? Do you I want just to... to make a picture book? <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make a picture book, and we've turned it into noir. We've gone we Batman for a bit. We, it was like a buddy cop movie for a little bit there. <laughs> we, 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 we yes ended our way so fucking deep. We can't fucking get out. ADHD I don't know and how to bro. crawl out of this hole, dude. Well, okay, so you guys want to make this picture book. What all, what what do you want to include? Just tell me what you want to include, and then okay. I'll say you got it. Okay. So Griffin has expensive arm. Let me write. That's what he told me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I'm, I'm going to write these things down, because I need to now write whatever you say. I have to write a fucking rhyme stanza for. So tell me what you want in here. Oh, I don't. Okay, I don't. Oh, no, no, you make just I say just, the things. Just say whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Our, okay, the first, our first boat blowing up. I think that needs to be in there. Bald people. Bald people, fairy. Flapping heads. Okay. All right. Flapping okay. heads. Okay. Okay, so I'll just say that you guys get everything that you need, figure out what you want to do for this little yep. book for Finn, and then you get it all together, and you go down to, I guess, present it? Is that your plan? Yeah, we're going to just yes. present it and read it to him. Like, uh, so, yeah. at this point, Finn is on the helm side of the ship, you know, sitting um, near the railing, looking out onto the ocean this evening. Sort of okay. in the same place where you first turned him back from a bird. Okay. Can Just we out. roll? I am. I do want to do this. Can we roll a performance check to see how well it's illustrated? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. Okay. Who's doing the drawings? Maybe we could all roll and all draw some parts of it, and all okay. of our rolls can be taken into account. All right, let's do that. Um, yeah, let, that's that's great. Yeah, okay, roll. so we'll each roll for the pages we draw. Okay. okay. I got a nine. Fifteen. 27. Holly rolled an unnatural 20. Holy Ooh. shit. Okay, I look at your pages. Um, <laughs> look at the other guy's pages. I want to use a sorcery point to tear my page out into the wind <laughs> and pray to God um, and try and draw it better. I got a 13. Okay, it's right. a little better. Last time you can roll. Okay, yeah. so you guys all do this. Most of the pages are beautiful. Well, really well done. You bring it over. What's yeah. the plan? What are you guys doing? Hey, Grand Peepa. That's the sound of him looking back at you. He <laughs> just it's so sad, dude. Uh, people, no. you're looking you're looking all dried out. I moisten he, him up a little. Yeah, yeah, he can see. Get a little, little uh, get a little Avino lotion on him. <laughs> uh yeah, he's a lashy. He looks back slowly, he's just uh ankle grins softly, he's just wistfully looking out. Grand mm. I know you are looking for your books, um, 
but I thought maybe since you're here, you wouldn't mind if well, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll just let it speak for myself. Um, we, we, we made you a little something just to read while, while we look for your other, other books. It's whatever. It's not a, not a big deal. It's just, you know, I wrote it and then Chip did some of the art and Jay did some of the art and Ollie helped kind of with the, with the publishing and a lot of the 3D pop-up stuff. And then Griffin did the editing. And so it's it's from all of us. Anyway, um, I just thought maybe we could read it to you, if that's okay. He looks around. Goofy smile gets ever so. But if you wider. don't want that, it's I'll burn it. He uh, <laughs> he waits expectantly, like he um, is ready to give oh. the, let you give this a go. Okay. Um, in that case, I kind of sit him down and uh, pull out the book. Let's read a little children's book I wrote. The title, as Gillian pulls it out, is If You Give a Fish a Family. Oh. Oh, that's cute. It looks good. Bye. That's, <laughs> that, that's his editor. Thanks for everything, Griffin. <laughs> that's cute. Great editor. All right, so we'll start with Gillian, and then we'll go in the order. So Chip, Jay, Ollie, Gillian. He pulls it out. If you give a fish a family. And he opens up the book, and you see is this little 3D pop-up thing pops <laughs> up, um, and you see uh, on the left, um, there once was a fish born on a very special day. See, there's like the little egg there is, I think, what I came from. The day was so special, his family gave him away. <laughs> you see, there's like a mom and dad, and they're like giving up the egg to like this regal looking, um, kind of dark silhouetted figures. And Gillian kind of looks up, smiles, and turns the page and passes this is it. Like a, this is like a trauma book. Uh -oh. <laughs> Finn looks a little puzzled at that one, but he's he's uh reassuring with his look. It gets better, it gets better. He was taken to a palace, but it didn't feel like home. Oh, though everyone there said they loved him. He still felt alone. Oh, <laughs> you making Oz as Gillian? <laughs> yes, Alpha. in character, in character. <laughs> yeah, I pass the book. I just kind of look at I, Gillian. I look, I look a little, little like pitiful towards Gillian. Not pitiful, but like maybe sympathetic. Finn raises trust, an eyebrow. Um, trust, trust the narrative. The big fish of the palace said, "You must become strong. We fish don't like people because they are always wrong." The big fish brought a target and said, you'll be family if you hit this. So the fish tried every day, but he always seemed to miss. <gasps> oh, that's, that's so, so sad. sad. It's so sad. <laughs> um, Gillian takes I think it look. gets better. Then one day, the little fish made a big mistake. And there's like a violent drawing of him stabbing Jay's dad in the chest. <laughs> 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 and the big fish of the palace kicked him out of the lake. <laughs> There's, it's like those little things in the picture book where you open them and they kind of move and it's like the fish fucking like smiting it with lightning and he like disappears. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to emote as Finn. He does look a little shocked at that. The fish was alone on the shore, sad and beached, when suddenly out of the sky, a fleshy hand reached. Look, Chip, it was you. That was you, that was you, Chip. Look, it's you, Chip. The fish saw two people with no fins or tails. On a big brown floating thing, hollow with, and with sails. And then I don't think the first one had sails. Did it? There's little drawings of them. Sails. The fish was worried. Is this hell? <laughs> <laughs> did I do a big sin? <laughs> the two laughed. No, we're pirates. This is our crew. And you're in. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you see, they're all like happy together. To fucking Ollie tearing up. <laughs> they saved a lot of people and committed violent crime. <laughs> See us like blowing up a building, throwing the people out the window. But because they were together, they had a real good time. They met a dude, Duke D. Dukem of Duke, and a plant with kind eyes that gave them a spook. <laughs> See on one page there's Duke, and on the other page there's the plant lifting him up. They made a new friend, a horse from a puddle, 
that the little boy rode, and then they became bottles. I'm not sure if that's a real word. I was just really trying to work with what you guys gave me. It's <laughs> a job done. Yeah, no, yeah a, thanks. For, I, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. People, I drew that one. I drew that one. They even met a gooblick who mostly said he who. He absorbed 100 people, but then pressed undo. Yeah, I'm not really sure how this even got in the book. <laughs> <laughs> It's like written, it's like drawn in a completely different style. There's like some purple cup <laughs> There's like a yeah, yeah, there's like residue. What the what the fuck? Huh. Um, all right. Um, it's like he's still with us. Finn looks puzzled but enjoying it now. Yeah, I don't he's know. interested. He's like his attention is grabbed like at this one. point. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> like at this page. point, he's been a little whimsical in like his direction, yeah. but at this moment, his attention is unyieldingly focused on you guys. <gasps> okay, I I. Yield. I see that, and I, yeah, Gillian's like, oh shit. But one day, the man said, I have a confession, Fish. I lied. And you see Chip kind of, they're in that casino hole that they were. And the fish looks sad, and the man looks goofy. The fish felt so betrayed and decided the man would die. <laughs> <laughs> that... I wasn't even communicated, but okay. No, but it's all that rhymed. All right, I, I take it to the dictionary of liberties. Yeah, okay, it's your book. So, it's like, your are book. we? Are we still like? Is he go- still going to die? You can read the rest That's, of the book. Uh, you can okay. read the rest of the book. <laughs> the next day, the woman's father came and had a real big frown. He said, "You are a <laughs> dumb baby loser." And you've let this family down. <laughs> you see, you see, um, the <laughs> the fucking block and her dad bursting through with these flames and looking uh, at her. Her uh, Jay's on, cracking up at this point. I, and like, I push it up to Jay, Jay and I'm just kind of like shaking the book in her face. <laughs> you are a dumb baby loser. <laughs> <laughs> holy, she's holy she's shit, like, what giggling. a good impression. Um, <laughs> uh, but then the giggle kind of stops as she reads the next lines. Um, she says kind of solemnly the woman said you're right papa and so she shot the fish but before the fish died it said is that really your wish the woman said wait no i want to be friends with you the man chimed in i'm sorry for lying me too their crew is back together and finally free then the fish saw another target if he hit it, he'd be family. The fish thought of his journey, God and his friends. <laughs> the fish took one big swing, and the fish missed again. The fish looked sad, at his things, and said, Well, I guess this is it. And then, um, at this point, Finn walks over as you're passing the book to Ollie. And uh, grabs it to hold on to it and turns the page <gasps> himself. Oh. And standing next to Ollie, Ollie goes, Okay, but the two stopped him and said, But you're already family. And, and with that, uh, Finn. Oh, swear, swear words, swear words. <laughs> <laughs> slowly opens his mouth. And very quietly, alongside Ollie, family, trucks, oh, shit. The end. The end. He paused first words. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like They're a to be continued, but like. <laughs> so, um, um half really... of them were off were bad words. <laughs> Hope you liked it. We could burn it if you didn't. You guys finish reading together. And uh, Finn, now holding the book, closes it and holds it near his chest. And he reaches out to grab your hand, Gillian. And he just slips the bracelet back on. And then you hear uh, in your thoughts, he's just goofy smile. He's a little teary eyed as well. Yeah. I, I will never forget you. Young Tide Strider. Thank you all for this. I never forgot you, Grumpy Pa. Happy you're here. 
Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's real in today. <laughs> and it starts to snow. <laughs> I, I believe I already made you roll your con check for staying awake and working on the, the ice every hour. I think you did okay. You passed it, but the DC rose. So you're I don't good know, this night. But- Imagine if I immediately fainted in the boat sick now. No, no. <laughs> okay, um, cool. You guys have nothing else. You go to bed. Everybody long rest except for Gillian. Uh, the next day comes. Yes, we'll just yes, expedite yes. it here. We're going to have about two more days of travel. Um, I think so. Gillian, day one, go ahead and first roll. You would be making co- of. No, you just make one con check to stay awake for today. So go ahead and make it. It's a high is it a, is it a check or a save? I'm pretty. Uh, exhaustion is a is a Constitution saving throw. I think. Hold on. Okay, I'm just wondering what I can do to help. That's all. I think I think it is a con save. Yes. Okay. Cool. In that case, would I have? Could I use favored by the gods, which is like a short rest ability? You can use whatever else you use on. I got pretty much stage. nothing left except short rest stuff that I'd be able to use. So I'm gonna do that. Um. Fuck! <laughs> I got a twelve. I'm going to use Favorite by the Gods, which adds 2d4? And it adds, I rolled one on both. (laughs) So I got a 14. So you take a point of exhaustion today. Yep. But you can still stay awake. You have to, really. Oh, sick. Okay. Yeah, you're not going to just pass out. The saves are for exhaustion points. Got it. And Jay, for today, uh, you and Ollie are going to continue working. You're now doing more artificer magical infusing following uh, the instruction of uh, Alphonse and your own wit, so you'll just be making Arcana checks now. You've already oh, finished cool. the intelligence ones to actually build the machine and connect it throughout the entire ship. It's all the same to me. Oh, I almost rolled over to a natural 20. It's a six. Could I guidance her? You could. A six is really low, though, so... I believe in you. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that's not how it works. It's your destiny! <laughs> is that a d4? Um, yeah, it's another d4. It's a nine total. Yeah, okay. It is a really low roll, so I don't think you're going to meet the DC to yeah. make progress, but it is, it's supposed to be, it's not easy. I mean, you are, you are basically creating a magical item for your ship that uses the soul inside of a, you know, an unknown device that you didn't make. I mean, it is, it's difficult and it will be difficult to do, but you tried today. You and Ollie tried. He tried to encourage you. Well, you can do it, Miss J. You didn't. I'm, I'm also it's trying okay. to like teach him. I'm <laughs> teaching him like all, through every oh, part okay. of the. That's the yeah. Stuff. That's beautiful. Um, th- 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 maybe that just slows you down a little bit instead of it all right, outright being just too difficult. I'm maybe probably Ollie still fucks like, it up. up. It's probably a little bit. It's probably <laughs> yeah. a little bit hard for me too. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Ollie rolled like a five to even help. Did not help at all. Yeah. So you guys take another long rest. Next day comes. <laughs> I'll take a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> You need to take a short rest that one. day. Uh, go ahead and make your constitution saving throw to see if you take another exhaustion big point money, tonight. Big money, I got it too. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, a... gonna be a, it's gonna be a difficult DC. Anyways. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's like DC That's 30 now. 10 total. Guys, I'm gonna add 2d4 again. <laughs> that is a 17, guys. Let's go. That's huge. 17. What is it? Uh, do I die? Do you die? <laughs> no, you just you take a second point of exhaustion. Okay. We're gonna have to fall asleep eventually, but... Not until we get to well, the, the next the, the next level is going to give me disadvantage on saving throws, so I kind of need Uh-oh. those to stay awake. Yeah, I'm going to make your Arcana check today, Jay. Arcana check, nineteen. Nineteen is good. Nineteen yeah. is good. Let me see if Ollie helps him. Would all. it be any better if it was her destiny? Ollie helps. You can do that if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jay, and I walk over to her at fifteen feet per round. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget. Yeah, are you okay? Don't Why forget are you it's her destiny. I'm like fully dried out. <laughs> Grab her leg total. and you see the little magic. Yeah, I'd like through. to like, <laughs> um, I'd like to have Ollie actually like draw sort of like an arcane symbol of sorts mm-hmm. on it and like try and help with with enchanting it. I guess. Cool. Uh, yeah, teaching him some runes. Yeah, some runes. the runes. Food runes. <laughs> That's awesome. He actually did roll a seventeen to help, so that is really good. You guys awesome. succeed today on your first uh, uh, first success for infusing this, making it magic and working and stuff. That's this day. I'm going to say because you are traveling at such a slow pace, Fuck. we're gonna do one more day of travel before you arrive. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Good luck, Charlie. All right, everyone, blow on it. Everyone, blow on your screens. 
Come on. You don't want Come my on. luck. This will be. Just a, this will be. This is like impossible to pass. Man. I'm Actually, sorry. Can, no, I, can I, I roll it for him? Can I roll it for Julian? No. Think no. I just need your power. Give <laughs> okay. me your power. Does anyone have any abilities that can improve my saving throw at all? Any of them? Here um, I go. Looking through my fucking um. I don't. I don't have whole inventory real quick. Please. Give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to Here him. Here I go. Give it to Give him. me your energy. Make the save. Eighteen plus eight is twenty six. Plus two d four is a total of twenty six plus seven. Thirty one. That's 33, actually, but whatever. 33? <laughs> Sorry, man, I haven't slept for three Dude, days. Dude, I you bet it's 35. Me? I'll bet you money to DC 35. I'm pretty sure it just rose to 35. <laughs> oh, no. That's what I was you thinking needed, in my head. No. You needed a natural 20. I needed, I needed two more little points. Hey, you know Dude. what I'll say? I'll give you DM inspiration for sticking it out and getting the crew to safety. I got an 18 the first time though. Oh God. So I need a natural 20 to not take exhaustion. You just gotta I believe so. We started at, the, we started at DC 25, right? Yeah. And then it rose to 30 and then it just rose to 35. Yeah, All right, so that's well, it. if I got the, no, if I got the demon inspiration, here's the natural 20 guys, here it is. I got another just gotta 18, believe. oh my oh God. Oh my God. Hey, you fuck. can still, fuck, wait, hold on. That's right, Shit. you can't re-roll your, uh, Shit, I can't re -roll my 2d4, no, I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, that was fun. You I take sure another was. point of exhaustion. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> you, uh, but anyways, you motherfucker. You take another point of exhaustion, but okay. on this day, off into the distance, you begin to see the silhouette of an island, one that you've been heading towards for quite some time now. Oh, I finally get to show you guys something. Uh oh, how long has it been ready? For months. Ollie yells out. On the top deck, this fine, it's about after, around afternoon now, yeah. uh, and says, Land! Land ho! It's home! We're here! All of the crew rushes up to the deck as your ship, the Albatross, begins to arrive at the point where your story started. I get up, out, I look out, I stretch, ah, nice and rested. I look over to my left and Gillian is over there. <laughs> no, you know, you see me like a fish out of water. I have one hand on like the ice slowly refreezing it. And I'm just going, <laughs> 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 like a fully oh on the ground. Jay's got a coffee. What's that He's sound? Is somebody pumping up a tire? <laughs> oh. oh, guys, guys, really? guys, 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 oh, look, Gillian. look, look, look. Oh, we're here. Oh so, my God. Okay, Gillian, you can drop the ice now. You guys see, as you approach, get closer, you see this freshly rebuilt town of Zero with new oh. vibrant colors and these unconventional artistic looking buildings with a small patch of like comparatively lifeless broken buildings tucked off into the bottom right part of the town. But the overall structure is familiar with the forested mountains that make the backdrop of Zero sort of hugging it like a, like a crescent. Uh, rivers flowing down, bisecting parts of the city. You see the main central road of steps um, that have been painted now, a variety of hues leading from the top of the town, that crumbled raft tower from that you exploded, to the entrance and the docks where the albatross begins to slowly pull in. And this is what you see. Ooh. Ooh. We got art. It loads. We got the whole nine. It loads. Here's it loads. what you approach to. Only turn me around. Take it all in. <laughs> Soak it in. in. Whoa. Whoa. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's that yeah. in the middle there? What's what in the middle there? I don't middle? know. I guess you'll have to go exploring it and find like out. It looks like a barrel and a fish I and a I don't know, man. Bird. How about you just kind of wait like a little a statue, second? Mm -hmm. doesn't it? Looks like a little statue. A little I don't statue know. Is it there. interesting There's also a you? giant sword in the top right. Is is it, are about? these are these places POIs, perhaps? Oh. Perhaps you might want to go. Is there a train? Is there a train through... Is, is it Canela or is it Zero? Is, which is the city name again? I always forget. The island is Canela. This town okay. is Zero. Dude, this is so cute. I think they built us a little statue, guys. Where do you see that? In the middle. Look, it's a fish in a barrel and a bird. It's literally like, like go halfway oh, up oh, in the center. Oh, I see. I Remember see. Remember the whole thing center. was we ran around with the barrel on the, on the yeah, front? Yeah. Yeah. We had a bird no, and a fish. I remember. So you said yeah. the middle, so I was looking at that little middle dock. I'm like, it looks like a sewer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, they made us a statue and they hid it in the sewer. Sounds of your ship pulling into the dock, sort of rubbing up against the wood, the wood of it. 
um, the ocean splashing at his side. You hear the foot traffic, the foot traffic, and some of the people uh, walking around this sort of uh, a very first center or level of the town. You've been here before, um, and yeah, it's uh, this is all up to you guys. The direction is yours. Ollie excitedly uh, runs to the uh, uh, I guess where the the ladder is at the center. Uh, of the ship and begins to head down. Oh my god, it looks so different! It looks so different! I don't I, I don't even know where I am! I don't even know where I am! Yeah, he just starts to run down into the dock. I don't know where I am either. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, please help. Well, it's been a long time since we've been here. It's definitely different. Yeah. We'll set in the middle. Do my do mine eyes deceive me? <laughs> looks like some kind sewer. of sewer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, get me closer to that. Whenever you're at the dock, whatever you're talking about right now, you cannot see it from the dock. Um, okay. This is uh, this picture, this image, this POV is like pretty. You know, you're still in the ocean. This was you coming up. Now that you're at the dock, oh, so everything I see, is I much see, taller, much yeah, higher. Yeah. The scale yeah, the is still sewer. there. I want to go in the sewer. Why do you want to <laughs> go I, in the sewer? I stand up. It's <laughs> like but well, dookie down there. Well, crew, this is a POI, all right. A pretty outstanding island. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, okay. I'm gonna get the ship. I'm gonna get someone to help the ship. Yeah, yeah you you've good, yeah. got 40 minutes. 40 minutes. I take Ollie over to the front. <laughs> Look at the ice, it's just like slowly. And I go, well, what do you think? You see your house from here? No. No. Yeah, no. I can't. Yeah, I, I wouldn't imagine. I mean, it's a pretty big place. Um, <laughs> How about here? And I would have come behind him and throw him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! Then Still catch no him. House. Catch him. It's weird to feel weird about throwing a child when the child's always the one throwing you. <laughs> he lands back down. I uh, I don't I don't I don't know. Um, there's there's. We usually live, I guess, on this, in this, um, I don't know, uh, on the first level for sure. Uh, I know my way there, but I don't know. Everything looks so different, so I'm not sure. Wait, we'll ask around. Yeah. Uh, we'll make there is somewhere there. we can ask, but we have I'll to leave. go to the, the, the center, the center, the town square, the center, if you will, town circle. Ollie, yes? what's your last name? To the town square. I thought it was small boy. I it was Hold always on. small boy. <laughs> I just figure, you know, if you're looking for a parent, last name probably would help. How have we not asked this ever? <laughs> I don't know. My last name? Like, my mom's? Like, our full yeah, name? Yeah, like your, your mom's name or something. Just Yeah, something like how my last name of. is Strider. Oh. Wait, what? Tide, Tide Strider. <laughs> Tide Strider. Yeah. I thought it was Tide Strider. Yeah, Gillian Tide Strider. Oliver Jesus. Teach. <laughs> That's my name. Oliver Teach. Teach? Teach. Oliver Teach. Mm hmm. Okay, All so right. we're looking for a Miss Teach or a Mrs. Teach? Uh, Miss Teach. Okay. All right. Well, but I think I looking. know exactly who would know where to find her and my house. Come on. Smash up, boom, 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 as we you guys begin to follow Ollie, you know that Griffin yeah. is going to try and get someone to fix your ship or put it somewhere where it doesn't sink. Cool. And uh, Queen just shouts out, I will explore all the sites and la la la, and then la la la's off on their own. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just thumbs up. Dre's going to tag along with you guys. Finn, of course, is going to sit back. Actually, do you guys want Dre to stay back with Finn? We'll take, we'll take Dre. Whoever wants to come can come. Like, whoever leaves and, and comes with us is more than... He's curious we'll put, to to walk with you guys, so he'll he'll come along. I'm coming. We can put Earl on Finn huh? duty. Yeah, Earl. Okay, fine. Oh, I'll be on ship duty. God damn it! All right, old man, from one only to another. Let's play some chess. Um, so you guys start to follow Ollie. Uh -oh. He's taking He's you up the center steps. You recognize him, although they're all colorful now. This is you know 
the 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 main road you were running down last time you were here. Heading up, uh, walking up these steps, eventually you do get to the sort of center, uh, basically like second level-ish middle of the town where you come upon this big water fountain of what you may have saw in the art, uh, a, a bird, a barrel, and a fish with a coral crown in this town square area. Uh, an area that splits off into the paths, different sections, different districts of the town. Um, this is the place you remember where you gave, Gillian gave the very inspiring speech to get people to stop, you know, being walked all over by raft. This is wow. where the sort of revolutionary civil war thing battle sparked right here. And I do have another art piece to show you guys as you guys come up on it. <laughs> look up at the fish, the barrel, and the bird and say, whoa, they made us look good. Yeah, they made us Aww. look great. That's what you guys come up to. Um, and we all really those- accentuated our best features. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the barrel. Yeah, I look great. <laughs> I like I like that they... Is that, is that supposed to be Apple? Or I guess Finn. What do we... How do we refer to... Yeah, there's Whoa. a lot to parse there. This fountain <laughs> definitely was not here when I was here before. You guys know what it's for? Um, well, probably to honor us, right? And all the heroic work we really did here. That feels really conceited to say, though. Like, what if it's just about a fish, a barrel, and a bird? Well, then... That's actually facts. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is we left this town better than we came to it, right? Look around. It looks it's beautiful. Pretty good. Just behind this barrel, off uh, a little bit into, um, y- you would see at this point, there's a nearby, like, sort of signage postage that points uh, a- and lists off the different districts of the town. There's this uh, bubble district that heads toward the bottom right. Oh, sorry, bottom left part of the town. There's the Umbrella District, which is like top middle right of the town. Um, there's the Renaissance Avenue, which is top left, right above the Bubble District. Um, and then there's the Canvas District, which is in the bottom right. That part. all adds up so well with what I am seeing, especially because I noticed the bubbles in the bottom left, and I was like, why are those there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ali rushes past the signage post. Uh, it gives you only enough time to glance at it. You keep following him. He's going, he's heading towards the bottom left, uh, the sign that's pointing towards the bubble district. And as you keep following him down the pathways, uh, hopping over a river at one point, like sort of a water canal that intersects, you got to go over a small bridge. Um, you see, uh, you sort of smell like delicious sweets, different cuisines. Um, um, there's more in this area, there's more balconies and, and terraces. Uh, and just above, you can kind of constantly see towering, beautiful buildings in the Renaissance Avenue sort of district. Uh, this is very colorful. Uh, Linden, of course, the, the most bizarre part is as you're running through, the streets are sort of filled with auto-multiplying small bubbles um, that sort of gently oh. float around and past. Uh, um, and yeah, but he runs very specifically to a place That's that... Cool. Seems to be this sort of on the go, only an open window in this building, which is the only place, sort of like a drive through uh, bakery. You can smell the pastries and the bread. And he runs up and he just dings this little bell like a million times. Ding, 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 ding. Um, hey! You guys all, all, all follow yeah, up, right? I do, I just yeah. follow behind The only thing I wanted like, to do is put a bubble in a bottle if they multiply. So there's there's a few things infinite, I want to do in town. But infinite like, bubble baths on the show. Only <laughs> is the most pressing. I want a bottle of bubble. Mr. Rico! Mr. Rico! Bing, 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 bing. Uh, uh. And he, like, cause some guy just, like, big, big arm just sort of um, grabs Ollie's hand on the bell. His face sort of uh, comes out from the shadows of the bakery. <laughs> 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 it's this, um, oh. it's this very, like, square, um, not, not, like, heroically bulky, but very, fairly built, sort of, like, almost like a miner's build in a way. But uh, he's got like caramelized, like brown skin, a uh, uh, nice like bushy mustache, and he looks down and he sees. Whoa! I am instantly picturing Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> it's his hair. His hair is like like darker in color for sure. Mm. I'm more like picturing a, such a specific fucking character. But he goes, "Little Ollie, is that you? No one else rings my bell that way." Oh, yeah, it's kind of like the guy on the left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, Mr. Rico! 
It's been a while, huh? You could say that again. And uh, he starts to like rush uh, back and he comes out of like sort of like the, like almost like a back door, runs through a little crevice in between the buildings and comes out and he kneels down and he puts both hands on Ollie's shoulder. Where have you been? I thought you were dead. Uh, hi. Um, I Your mother thinks you are dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he looks up. Uh, Jay starts sweating a little bit. Kind of like looking away. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm crazy. very much alive. These are my friends. And he stands up, looks at you guys. Um, Captain of the Riptide. Riptide guys. I'm trying Thousands. to think of the right, the right word. Captain of the what? I'm trying to think of the right word Captain in common. Of the, Captain of the Albatross, our ship, where we picked up Ollie, little old Ollie, out on the out on the sea, rescued him, saved him, brought him back here. I'm not fully familiar with the tongue yet, but a, I think abducted is the. <laughs> no, 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 him no. from his captors, who took him. We took him from another ship where he was taken before. We yes! Oh yes, a friend who had yeah. him before, and then he sort of traded him um, to us. Guys, you suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> and we kept him safe, and we're looking for Miss Miss Teach. Is there a Miss Teach? His mother? After I rolled something in secret. To call the police on us. <laughs> he presses he, the alarm button. He's raising an eyebrow, like gently stepping back to the window. Uh huh. Now tell me more about this trade. <laughs> it wasn't a trade. <sighs> Look, we're just looking to take him home. Okay. Kidnappers. Listen, he stowed away on a ship accidentally, oh. and and we took it upon ourselves to take care of him until we were able to bring him home. Uh, yes, that word you said. Yes, he is a kid, and um, we nabbed him. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's not what. He was out there and he just, needed help. Do you just so we... like to make things harder for us? <laughs> we found we found him. <laughs> no, we did not <sighs> skip. Ollie, tell him we didn't kidnap you. Yeah, I don't think you're really. And then he gets kind of cut off as Mr. Rico, the bakery owner, reaches his hand behind the counter and then in a flash snaps out this sort of double barreled shotgun at you. And then he yells, <laughs> Pirates! And then, oh boy! Oh, is that the bad? entire, the entire like there are a bunch of people around you at this moment. And when he does this, the entire crowd <laughs> stops, and windows of towns open as everybody. You start to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> as the entire town stops, everybody pulls out a weapon. Every single person, even a baby in a stroller, has like a little knife. He pulls out. He like pops out the pacifier, and he's holding like a little needle. I just and sigh and put my hands up. <laughs> I also, I also put my hands up. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. Thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it can to your cart. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites, and when you check out, the Honey button appears. All you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a couple seconds as Honey searches for coupons, and if it finds a working one, bada boom. Honey really came in clutch for me recently when I was going to buy some books for a new tabletop RPG game I've been pretty excited to try out. It brought down the price enough that I threw in an extra paradise, and it was super easy to use, just a couple clicks. And guess what? Honey doesn't just work on desktops. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you are straight up missing out. And by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. So get PayPal Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-Y. That's joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-Y. Now back to the big rolls. And at that moment, everything is like, it's like frozen. Time feels like it's still. All these weapons just pointing at you. And Mr. Rico, the bakery guy, is squinting. Talks back to Hammer. Ollie's like, no, no, um, Ollie, what is tell going him, on? Ollie, tell him we're chill. <laughs> Ollie, you gotta they, tell him we're chill. They are definitely chill. Whew, okay, okay. we should be good now. Yes, we are pirates, it's true, but we've come. Oh, I think they peace. understand perfectly what we, what we did. And only to help <laughs> no, return this up. child to his mother. We I mean, check it. Someone from a window up above uses a dagger to pin a poster onto the ground as I like throw it. <laughs> And it's Gillian's wanted poster. 
This one here is worth 200,000 gold. Oh, yes, yes, that's me. Mr. Rico slowly says, 200,000 gold. Why are they reacting this way if they want me so bad, Jay? Listen, I think there's just been a misunderstanding, okay? What are your real intentions, huh? He starts to stand in front of Ollie, sort of blocks him out of the conversation. We you think you can hide behind these boys and guys? Steal everything we have? We don't take kindly to pirates. Or anyone for that matter. Why is it you don't take kindly to pirates? Or an anyone experience? for that matter. Was, was there any experience with pirates that was necessarily bad? We don't really steal ever, what do we? Ever actually wondered anything ever? Yeah. No, I don't really think so. We pay taxes, yeah. um, even when I think we're not supposed to. Um, we don't really. Um, <laughs> Didn't a, didn't a noble group of pirates come through here and no save the whole rules. place and take out the raft base? Whoever they may be. Yeah, I like your fish. Certain He's got, you know. your, your fish has beautiful eyes, my eyes and my coral. Love the way he looks. There was a group that came and... How do you know about this? Those three weren't pirates? Didn't even see their faces. They were like masks, heroes. Gone. Heroes? That sounds so much better than pirates. Maybe we should rebrand, guys. What if... I mean, these heroes, if they were to come back, surely you wouldn't be pointing any shotguns at them, would you? This town has been through enough. I kind of give them a wink. This town... will never be ruled again. Roll persuasion? There's a, there's a 25. Well, if those heroes did come back, I guess we'd throw them a party. And if you did throw them a party, I, I'm <laughs> sure they'd enjoy it. And they might want it cake. sounds great. But if baker? that's too big of an ask, they might be willing to settle for something else. Cupcakes. Maybe ice cream. Donuts. Or cupcakes. Perhaps they might. They might enjoy our cushionly brewed yeah. ale. Custom brewed ale sounds good. If wonderful. they were the ones to return. Or. But good hearted people like that, to start a revolution against the government, no matter the consequence, would never be pirates. Unless. And then, they had a fundamentally <laughs> un- misunderstanding about what pirates actually were. <laughs> that would be quite the predicament. That it would be. I start to put my hands down. So maybe we can, you know, put the guns down and have a little drink, say a cheer. You go bake us a cake. There's there's a very heavy implication right now that that it, that it is us. But it's not certain, is it? <laughs> you guys, you're just not helping. Listen, I ran across those rooftops with a big barrel of gunpowder. And I won't be forgotten for it. <laughs> I know you're thinking, was it really them? And it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. We have someone. They'll be the judge. Hey! Yells out to someone. Bring him here. A few moments pass, everyone's still just standing there. Guns pointed. I like what you've done with the place. Very lovely, like the statue. A few moments later, this very... First of all, they're bound, tattered, oh. like they've been kept somewhere <laughs> for a while. What? I honestly thought you were going to bring like one of the fucking women that <laughs> was in the window that Chip jumped through. <laughs> Their <laughs> uniform is definitely rough recognizable, <laughs> though it is like tattered at this point. Minimal, ripped up, and you recognize the three of you would probably recognize this to be one of the only other soldiers that was with Marshal John chasing you through the town. Marshal John. And they look up. Their head gets sort of like, like, like forced up to look at you guys. Squint at the sight of the sun. I cross my arms and stand up, puff out my chest like a hero. Mister Rico goes, "You were there." You recognize these three as the one that are the ones that blew up your tower? 
It's like very stringy. You picked the wrong side, my little scrub. Matted hair. And when you say that, they look at you, Gilliam. <laughs> they just sort of like try and spit at you, but it's all dry. Their mouth is dry. Awesome. I dodge it. <laughs> I Sebastian converted our captain. A marshal. How did he manage that? That's right. And maybe, maybe I'll convert you too. <laughs> like <flinch forward. laughs> Their head drops again. And and me, you remember me too. Yeah, I was also there. Mr. Rico slowly puts down the gun. He goes, well, I guess that settles it. They're back! <laughs> <laughs> and, um... I hold Everyone, up my arms like Jesus. I'm just laying there. I'm uh, there. I raise a finger as they drag this man back into jail who has been there. It like, <laughs> yeah. looks like no food or water for like four months. Uh, maybe we should. Can we? I don't know. Okay, there we go. I don't worry about him. Uh, and then everybody sort of puts their weapons up and sort of cheers. Um, at recognizing you guys to be the ones that freed their town or at least started it. Everybody immediately begins to switch their vibe. All the weapons become hidden once again, as if they were never there. The town is normal, and uh, people get more chummy and start to like pat you on the back as they walk past. Um, and Mr. Rico puts his arm around uh, you, Chip, and he goes, <laughs> "Why did you just say so?" I was we trying just, to. We heavily implied but it. Be, you know, be vague about it. I don't know. I didn't want to. I don't, I'm not. I'm not one to brag. Really. Well, it brings you back to honest. our old town of Canela. I mean, Zero and Canela. I mean, who cares about the name, anyways? <laughs> We've been rebirthed. We're like the phoenix rising from the ashes. We're like bread rising in the oven. Well, this I mean, town. if you look at the small yeah. boy behind you, um. Hi. Yes. Yeah, we're just Good here to, to take him home. again. Uh, right. Just another noble gesture from the uh, Riptide He kneels guys. down. Um, he puts his arms again on Ollie. I almost forgot. Ollie, your mother. I'd like to run around just like shaking hands, high-fiving <laughs> people, signing sign Got a kiss. So I, I sign a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys get sort of uh, almost distracted enough by the crowd around you that uh, Ollie and... Mr. Rico, the baker, talking. Uh, it gets pretty drowned out by everything going around right now. It gets a little bit more hectic. After they they talk for a second, Ollie comes back to you guys to get your attention. He looks a little bit more concerned. All right, yes, Gilly and Ty I am a hero. baby signers got places to be. Oh, Ollie, hey, what's... <sighs> um... He... My house was destroyed. Oh, oh, well, well, hey, buddy, they got a whole lot of new houses. I'm sure. <laughs> so we, we gotta go. House? There's a new district, the canvas one. That's where my house used to be. He said she's there. He said she's sick. Well, hey, I'm sure it's not too bad. Come on, let's let's just go and see her. Okay. He uh, gives you like a little napkin with written directions on it. Yeah, we'd probably like head down there a little rushingly. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'm getting yeah. there. Yes, yeah, I I will dash and go the exact same speed as them walking. <laughs> you guys head back up to the sort of town center that leads into the different directions. Although, um, the canvas district is that bundle of buildings that are kind of they resemble the old sort of plain white concrete buildings with the red shingles that the town previously was filled with the like personalityless buildings and begin to head that way and the sort of directions is leading you to this very hobbled shack like building with like wooden boards on squares carved out and the concrete to resemble windows um all around you you can still see that the 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 sort of topography of the island is very hill-like so it inclines declines and stuff the buildings themselves are still kind of built on top of each other multiple layers but in this district as you arrive in the canvas one it is 
broken down. I mean, it, this is the only part of the island where you can tell it was hit by battle, by combat, by destruction, mm -hmm. because the everything is just crumbling and old. It looks old. It's destroyed. There's graffiti. It's a lot less pleasant in smell. And it feels like, even though the weather itself doesn't change, it feels like your whole atmosphere becomes a cloudy day when you walk through. There are people on the sides uh, of the pathways, the, the roads that are uh, clearly homeless with nowhere to go, sort of wrapped up in these kilts or cloths or sometimes nothing. Um, people that are injured. There are places where it seems like garbage and waste is just thrown from any part of this, the, the, the town. And eventually you come to that building, like I said, uh, and this is this is what you look look at. There's some more art here for you. And that building on the left there is the entrance into where you are headed. This is your stop. And a little bit of a sign on the left and right of the door just sort of says like infirmary, um, tucked away here on this road. And you head in. Ollie's just sort of uh, letting you guys lead because he's sort of hiding behind you. He feels nervous. He's clutching hands. Let's scruff his hair a little bit. <laughs> I'll step in first. When you step in, Chip, or sorry, when you step in, Chip, you hear, you know, <coughs> different um, adolescents, people suffering from injury, sickness. It's very small, very compact. It, the the lanterns and the lighting, the, the warm glow gives a little bit of comfort inside here, but nothing else really screams uh, luxury. It's very impoverished. All of you are looking around for a moment. It looks like the people helping out here don't actually have any official uniform or, or, or even look like they have learned skills. It just kind of looks like volunteered people helping people here. Mm -hmm. And... After a moment, Ali steps forward. Mom? You look past where he's calling out to, and very weak, slowly, you see a woman try to sit up. I will move over to her bedside, kind of crouch down, and just sit there and kind of be next to Ollie, really. Yeah, I would stand quietly. Yeah, before you guys move forward, um, when he yells out, Mom, all of you get the same look as he meets, he sees who he recognizes his mom to be. And when she sees him, a very previously blank, sorrowful expression widens and contorts the face in almost like a shock you can't really describe of, of this emotion. So it'd just be better to show you what you see. Damn, bro. <laughs> There's a lot of art. Damn, you got art of everything. You gotta abduct kids more often. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude. So it's also good, dude. This is so this good. This is crazy. The moment is still for a second, and then she begins to struggle to almost like wiggle, crawl out of bed. And at that point, like she's just like trying to to get to, to Ollie and he runs forward before she can even stumble out of bed. She kind of falls off a little bit onto her legs and it looks like you can see that they are very, very, you know, bony because of the lack of like muscle and the lack of uh, usage. She's very, very skinny, um, but her hair is very, very long and unkempt now as well. And she just, they just sort of embrace each other. And she wails, like just begins to sob. Oliver. <laughs> Holly, my sweet boy. <laughs> and then she just sort of buries her head into her shoulders as, as they hug. And this is at the point you guys um, sort of walk up if you wish. Yeah. This scene goes on for minutes of just hugging and, and sobbing. I wouldn't be able to say anything <laughs> until she addressed us. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't mind going to one of the volunteers uh, while they're while they're speaking. Um, somebody who seems like they might work there and just. Uh, you can see people helping other people out. Again, there's not like a this person works there. You just see someone helping. What are you looking to do? I'm just looking for someone who might know what's wrong with her. Really, 
If you're going up to someone to ask, just sort of roll like, uh, I guess, investigation. Probably the best one. Natural 20. Holy shit. 26. Oh, shit. I find the right motherfucker. You go up to someone. And he looks he looks sort of a little bit older than you. Maybe like mid-20s or so. Um, mm -hmm. Just dressed in like a very simple like white shirt and, and, and slacks. Uh, he looks up at you. He kind of has like a, like a very handsome prince vibe. And you have no idea what he's doing here. But uh, he is that kind of guy. Just very, very beautiful and helping the sick. It's just fucking like, damn, dude, why are you like this? You're just too good. Are you go to him. <laughs> too, too I get all that right away. <laughs> <laughs> you go He's to him. And, the greatest man ever. Um, he looks. He looks up. You ask him about it. He goes, I don't know. Uh, she used to be, like, she used to be held up in, in the Revenue Avenue and those hospitals when you have money and word is she ran out of money she couldn't work and because she couldn't work they had to transfer her out and brought her here where the ones who don't have money are still need help go See, she's not sick not in the physical sense it's hard to say what's wrong with her and most of her vitals were always normal it's easier to say, he says again. I just guess that she was too worried. Worried sick. Oh. Okay, that's I guess it's hard for us to understand we're not parents, right? But that's my guess. I guess you don't die from being worried, so. That's the first time she's moved in months. I'm sure she'll be on the up now. Hey, Jay. Yeah? I'm starting to feel like we should have brought Ollie home. Like, right away. Like, faster? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, that was probably the best play. Yeah. Damn. Who knew <laughs> there were moms and they got so sad? <laughs> yeah. Who knew? As Ali and his mother are interacting together, she doesn't really seem to pay you guys much mind. Obviously, her vision is tunneled on her son, but the air becomes thick and tense as you hear a figure arrive and step in thrum, thrum, with their boots onto or into this interior. And you all look over and you see someone who is not, you can tell just by their face, they're definitely not older than Chip. If not like around the same age, they're youthful, but they're lean. And they have this spiky, spiky black hair, very like a very cocky expression. He yells out over to sort of wearing like a sleeveless shirt. Um, and he yells out over to the guy you were talking to, Chip, who you might still be near. He goes, hey, where's the owner of this building? The very princey looking handsome man doesn't look happy to see this guy and he just gestures over to the back corner this sort of door at the back corner of this room great can I roll insight to see if he is a danger you can roll insight I guess is there some thuggery going on here That's what I want to know. it seems like there's, there's some thuggery going on seems like on there's here. some thuggery going on not really 18 everyone definitely cowers like shelves up a bit as he enters when they walk past him they try to not be noticed not be looked at and he walks around like he owns it straight back to the door doesn't look at anybody doesn't even look down at his feet and then he uh disappears behind that door seems like a nice young man I'll oh. go over to Chino. that the handsome sexy prince and I'll go <laughs> I would yes. join Chip at this point because I was going to ask the same question this his guy name is his name, uh, fucking Prince Perfect that is literally his name <laughs> Damn. Right. wow his parents really knew perfect. what was what <laughs> you can just call me Prince we've already got Queen I mean if you want to join <laughs> what's the deal with that guy that just some pissant man. 
He, uh... He leads a gang around here. Sort of a band of, uh... Thieves. Guess you would call them now. He helped, um... He helped lead the town. Against a raft. So I guess built an ego. It's just here to collect money. For what? I don't know. It just taxes everyone in this district. Only in this district? Only in this one. It doesn't have enough of a guild to go against the entire town. It's pretty much kicking us all while we're down. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Well, that, doesn't, that doesn't sound very nice, guys. We can maybe talk to him, maybe straighten the man. Do you want him? Do you want him? Do you want him gone for free? Want him dead? <laughs> he evil? He evil? He got that evil stank on him? Can like, we smell him? You know. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of people to take on the entire town, but he still has a lot of, a lot of goons. So we want to. Yeah, what if know. they had no one to follow? Here, let's just let's just check in <laughs> and see what's going on. I don't, I don't. Before, before we, I don't go you, stabbing. Look, I, I don't think you should get involved. I mean, don't make trouble for all the sick people here. Okay, then we'll just go investigate further. Okay, we'll, we'll, we can we can wait outside. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> we can wait outside for him. Let's hold up. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I sure. No, I don't. I don't want to cause any trouble for sick people, but. Maybe if I were to just go listen, I could just go listen, and then we could determine if he's evil. <laughs> hey, well, I, I'm, seems like seems like we're all sick. Sick of this guy's bullshit. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. Am I right, everyone? I kind of look around. I mean, is that? Am I right, everyone? I don't think this is the place for uh, an uprising. <laughs> I will go over to the door, and uh, I'd like to sneakily see if I can't tell hear us, a little something. Tell us, Jim, what your special ears hear. Okay, dude. Let's do it. Roll perception. Why'd you say it like that? Oh, why'd you say it that way? Why'd you and say roll it self. like that? <laughs> roll them both. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm stealthy. I'm quiet. I'm quiet. I'm 23. I'm 23. Yes. I'm quiet. He's quiet. I'm so quiet, and I hear things. It's 21. God damn! He's quiet. And he hears things. Is there an attic? I want to sneak into it. I want to get get all like up in there. I'm like a rat. There- there is, there is not. It is a very small hobble, like shack for filled with sick people. I mean, you just kind of have to step over anyone who's like lying on the floor because there's not a lot of beds, and you slowly push your ear up to the door. That's about all you can do. Um, and you start listening. As soon as you get up there, you hear. Are you kidding me? That's it. Look, I don't want to have any problems, Mister. These people can't pay the tax. Just tell them to hurry up and die. Because they're not useful being sick here. Oh, man. <laughs> I would like to read kind of Chip's general vibe and expression. <laughs> just based on whatever he kind of conveys back to us, I think determines what's... I give a face of like, yeah, that guy sucks. <laughs> you hear him sort of like... You basically hit him here like spit on the man. Like, Pah. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon. Okay. And if you don't have the full amount, <laughs> I hope you like staying warm. <laughs> this is friend to arson. Um, I give I give Chip a thumbs up and thumbs down, kind of quizzical uh, as to gesture whether or not we should jump this guy at the end. I just I just hold my hand okay, out. Okay, okay. Wait, is he about to walk back out the door? He says, "Cause me and mine." We'll bring the heat. <laughs> okay, so that's ours, right? You, <laughs> like that's, that's ours. And you hear, you hear. Uh, okay. He's starting to walk towards the door. Yeah, I flop onto the ground like a fucking rag doll, and I and I'm dying, and I go, "Oh, I'm so sick!" Chip, no! I run over to him. <laughs> I can't win. He opens the door at that moment, and he stops as you do that. Oh. Looks down at you. Dude, I need to walk there. Stop oh. being a nuisance and get out of my way. 
I'm so terribly sorry, sir. And I dramatically like flop and roll my way out of his way. Is that better? You've got some weird ones in here. He shouts back at the guy in the the room that he just exited. See you tomorrow. He begins to walk out. See you tomorrow. I get up. That guy sucks. Yeah, so you just gave me the hand, but I mean, I was just going to throw him like... No, no, yeah, like, no, 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 Why not? No. Why not? Why not? Here, not in here. Not in this place. Because there's so many sick people okay, here. Okay, listen. Let's let's not hey, follow him hey, home. Sh- okay, yeah, let's do that. If we're going to do it, though, we're not going to do it near anybody's property because we don't want retaliation to land well, on these people. Well, 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 well. That's well. facts. That's facts. Didn't he just see well, us here, we- though? Maybe he'll know that we're associated in some way. Nah, oh, he seems listen, stupid. we don't need to follow anybody, okay? We're not gonna follow him on his home turf. He's got all these people, but we know he's gonna come back. He'll be here tomorrow. Oh, really? Alone? He came alone today. What are, why he? is he gonna be back tomorrow? To collect more money or to make sick people die? I don't know. <laughs> Can't let him do that, Chip. Well, no, no, we don't let him do that. We let him come back, thinking he's a big man coming to get the money, and we spring a trap. <laughs> a, a trap, you say? A trap, I say. Well, maybe if we follow him now, we can see the way that he goes, so we can plan the trap maybe up the road, so that it doesn't cause any any damage. Well, we could do that, or we could move that's all the sick people out of here that's a bad idea we can, move, like really... we can move all the sick oh, well, people no, out no, and no. then hire actors to no, play I've got a great idea. <laughs> how, much, how much money do we have left from that loan a lot we can finance them to go to the better hospital right how much could it possibly cost well, that doesn't solve the, the problem of this person extorting the people that are here oh no and then he comes in here and we beat the shit out of him yeah we beat the shit out yeah. of him and what if we get all the townspeople that are armed to play sick people and also hide with their guns and then when he walks we'll in that. here I'm not even sure they know do they know this is happening so funny no but if the whole place if this if everyone knew what he was doing I'm sure it wouldn't be allowed he's only able to do this because he squeaks by Right under the eye of everyone else. They don't know what's going on here. I refuse to believe it's because they don't care. But if we get everyone in on this, on what he's doing, it'll set an example and it won't happen again. I feel like we've been on the boat too long. We're just like itching to kill this guy. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> like, yeah! Maybe yeah! we should... I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm trying to compromise here. I'm trying to do this plan. Trying to think it through. Yeah, but if you say, yeah, if you yeah, say, yeah. go fish, go. Look, I will run up that street at my and maximum I will say, go speed. Fish, go. Okay. But all right. Yet. I start running up the. Oh, no, 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 yet. No, no, Gillian, baby girl. Come back. <laughs> yes, yes, baby boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> we all have code names. Yeah, and yours is Hagfish, right, Jay? What? That's what we call you. It's yeah, what we, we call you Hagfish. We call we, it's baby girl, baby boy, and Hagfish. That's, <laughs> that's what it's always been. It's it's, three, no, three names. it's not. Listen, I mean, like, yeah. you don't remember that? It was your idea. Anyways, let's focus on Ollie and make sure everything's okay with him, guys. Yeah, and also I feel like we shouldn't do anything really groundbreaking without, you know, confronting and consulting other people in the town. You know, we've already uh, oh! guess, dangerously. <laughs> Okay, okay, you know what? <laughs> Whatever. Go fish, go. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I grab him, I grab him, I grab him, I hold him, I grab him, I grab him. I if he says to stop. I trip him. <laughs> okay, you grab me and then you trip me and fall on the ground. I freaking try to do anything. I'd stop him. <laughs> you crush somebody who's like on the ground? Okay, all right. It's actually just a whoopee cushion that makes a human scream sound. I don't know why that was there. So what's going on? <laughs> I po- okay, I pocket that. <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus Christ. I'm write it down. I'm going to write it down. Pocket that. That's going in my notes. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> I can't ever be part of the bit. He popped oh, it. He so popped so... the whoopee cushion. No, I pocketed Easy. it. No, he popped no, he, it. No, no one popped it. His it's way, in my, it's his in my bag. It's destroyed it. No, it doesn't matter. It's have. in my bag. It's, <laughs> it's going to be so fucking useful. Let's think on it. Come up with a plan. And focus on Ollie for right now. Okay? Okay, sure. Riptide Pirates. Riptide Pirates. Riptide Pirates. Riptide guys. Guys. Riptide guys. Riptide. 
Do we, can we be the Riptide heroes finally? I always felt like this pirate thing was sort of not the right label anyway. No, I can take Riptide heroes. Come on. It sounds, just sounds a little like boastful, you know? It sounds kind of action figure doesn't it? I kind of yeah, like that. It yeah. does. The Riptide well, heroes are here. It's, bow, really just, bow, it's, bow, just, bow. it's a little much, right? Like, I don't want to introduce myself as a Riptide hero. I do. Uh, I look back towards Ollie <laughs> at this point. Yeah, what what are they um, uh, what are they up to? She's gotten back onto the bed, just sort of sitting, and he's standing, making a bunch of gestures. Um, seems like the initial, you know, I guess excitement, and um, then just the initial whole whole emotional moment has reeled back in, and it was a bit silent for a second when that figure walked in, but back to talking and then he sort of points over at you three who are in like the opposite corner and she looks back it seems like he's sort of explaining things from his point of view thank god okay because we, we, we would have bobbed it we would have bobbed that shit we i you think if you even <laughs> like yeah you. honestly i was thinking about it like if you even tried there's no like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah, it's a I good think thing all you three just didn't of us, even... you know, would have mutually at the same time fumbled yeah, that. Yeah, no, fumbled a billion that. mostly though. Like, huh? What? Maybe this would be a good time to finally meet Ollie's mother, Chip. And I pick him up. She's and I put gonna him, kill us. <laughs> put him <laughs> over there. Come on, you got this. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll walk up and crouch down. You're a riptide hero. He waves you all over after pointing at you. Fuck. Mm. Okay. okay now we have <laughs> God damn it. All right, I, I come over too. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> Hello, Miss Ollie. Miss Teach. I am deeply sorry that we stole your son for four months. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Gillian, you don't get to say any more words. You are, <laughs> you are off word I, You see me counting on my fingers? Not even ten words. <laughs> and you already ruined it. Well, it's an apo- I feel like an apology is kind of in order, right? He is truly incredible. If I am to respond to you on any questioning, I must first have the approval of my two co-captains. I nod. <laughs> I can't believe this. I mean, when you're looking at her, it looks like this is too much for one person to process Yeah. immediately. Mm-hmm. And there's so much, so overwhelming, that it's like, it's like she can't even think, she can't even squeeze a word out or breath. So Ollie takes over. He says, Yeah. <laughs> so... I, um, I was, I was, I was, I ran away, you know, like I was saying, and I didn't know that the ship was going to leave, so it's nobody's fault but mine that I wasn't here for so long. Plus, at one point, I stretched and became really big, and I didn't want to come home and be like that because I didn't think you'd recognize me. And uh, she's she, like, what? It's <laughs> like so much. <laughs> he goes, he goes, you gotta trust me. These guys are the coolest. I'm alive because of them. She says, okay. Just kind of pulls him in again. I'm just happy you're alive. That's all. Wait, how about we let you guys? Hey, up? what was that all about? There's this dude that walks in. That's we're gonna, not- we're gonna blow him up. We're gonna blow him up. <laughs> we'll stay on the island though. We'll be here, and we won't lose track of you, but we're gonna- Mom, we gotta get you to a better place. Is there anywhere we can take her? I mean, the whole oh, town thinks um, you're heroes. Maybe they got somewhere. They're throwing a party to- Mom, can you come to the party? Okay. 
Hey guys, how much money do we actually have? Because I just want to give this woman like a billion dollars. Can we do it? No. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we gave all the 10,000 gold and surely he didn't spend it all. So maybe he's still got some. Griffin's got that arm of things start to look real grim, too. That's what I was <laughs> You would not miss. It's just right, a finger. We'll it's just down. a finger went missing. That would still be like so much money. We'll track down another place for her to go. Um, but you guys can stay here. Maybe we'll send some bread over, some food. We'll send food, and you guys can eat and catch up. No. Yeah? No, I don't want to stay here. Get that dude over there. Come here. Um, he like runs over to Prince. Uh, perfect. Prince Beautiful. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> Brings him back. Can I check my mom out? Uh, miss? Oh, where are you feeling? You can see that when you first saw her, I mean, a lot, a little bit of her color has returned. Yeah. But her body's still pretty, pretty weak. And she says, she says, I want to be with my son. And she looks back at Ollie. I think I need a little more time. But I wouldn't mind getting out of here soon. <laughs> Ollie says, okay, okay, um... So guys, maybe um, maybe just just swing by tomorrow. Are you leaving immediately? No, no, no. We'll, maybe we'll I can stick around. I can meet up with you tonight. Yeah, let's do it. We'll, we'll come get you before we sleep. Okay. Oh shit! Uh, I I reach into my bag and I pull out this kind of bundle, um, and I say. I got these for everyone at Allport, and I completely, completely mm. forgot to to give them out. But if we ever need to find each other for any reason, uh, here you all go. And I give um, Chip, Jay, and Ollie all a conch shell. Oh. <laughs> that is so convenient. You've just had these? Yeah, I bought them a while back. Um... My the number, days? my number is out of service. Oh yeah. For... Did you sync it with like your old? On shell? Like, oh. is that possible? Um, I don't know if, how these things work, really. Technology. Well, well, is, well right? I figured you'd want the feeling of, like, unboxing them for the first time, so I haven't taken them out yet. Oh. Uh, so, no, all those numbers are on my, uh, and my line's sort of been disconnected. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but you can all call each other. I bring it up to my Super. ear. And Sweet! Are there any games I, on it? I bring mine up to my ear. This is awesome. Hey, Jay. Uh, can I retroactively <laughs> deduct, like, 500 gold to give Ollie Snake? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you can't play games on the call <laughs> shell. give him Snake on the call <laughs> shell? No, I'm being but, stupid. But what if when he holds it up to his ear and it just sounds like a snake? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's like an audio book. Yeah. Pre-recorded. Um, no, you know what? You can't do that. Fuck. Yeah, um, we can meet up tonight. Uh, okay. How about at okay. the statue fountain? Yeah. Cool. I give okay, him like well, a light uh, we'll smile. See you then. Um, glad you're finally back with your mom, Molly. And Miss Teach, very nice to meet you. Horribly sorry. Um, <laughs> we'll see you. Goodbye, and I walk away. <laughs> Wonderful to meet you too, Miss Teach. Sorry as well. Um, what we did is unforgivable. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> um, we, you know, we tried. I, I, they're really building it up as if we did something horrible, but we really tried to bring it back as fast as possible. Uh, we sorry didn't. as well. It's you know, we goodbye. Didn't. <laughs> nope. You don't need. I, me. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. I walk back in. Um, there, uh, unfortunately, some minor detours took place. I've been advised to say no more. I think Ollie is a better person for it. Um, um, but we don't so much need to be adventures. the judge of that. Are we stepped and outside. Sorry, yeah. I think he wasn't yeah, we're outside back going with you. <laughs> 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 We've just no, been yeah. saying this to each other. She's not even there. Okay. <laughs> As we step outside, Chip just kind of fucking like 
collapses against the wall like, oh my god, that was so heavy. <laughs> Holy shit. I've never felt so afraid before. And I was consumed with guilt. You know that like feeling in the back of your throat that you get? Yeah. I had it like the whole time and I didn't even take him. I didn't even take him. It just happened. He, he, to yeah, us. He, just, like, he just kind of like got in our ship. He, and he like, just happened to us. I don't know. What could we have done? I don't know. I guess we could have taken it back a little earlier. We had stuff to do, kind of. That was kind of important. It was pretty kind of. But in the grand, that's like a relative thing. That's more of a. That's. <gasps> Listen, Ollie no, also no, didn't no want to come back. No and like, ship. Today we have been faced with the full weight of our mistakes that we Listen, will carry man, with us for the rest of our lives. He didn't lives. want to come back. And and are we supposed to I say know. no to the twelve-year-old boy? <laughs> and when he started talking about getting big, how how, how do I explain that? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. To be fair, it wasn't okay. really a good opportunity to bring him back when he was big. I'd rather not. I think that was kind of a Yeah, roadblock. no, I just, it's explaining the yeah. big thing that's my problem. Yeah, I okay. mean. Well, hey. well, back to zero. Yeah, Literally. so I'm thinking, what if we, uh. Let's get in touch with our roots, guys. Go back up to the tower? Where it all began? <laughs> that is an excellent idea. Race you to the top. Oh god. <laughs> as as we are moving through the city, I would like to just generally get a lay of the land and maybe and maybe ask Jay to do the same um as far as the gang activity and how prevalent this gang is. Yeah, as they're walking through, I think Jay's gonna climb up onto a roof because why not? Fun. We'll run across the roofs like we did yeah. before. You guys run across together and I'm like <laughs> we we like we like jump over a gap between buildings. <laughs> fucking I Gillian trip on the edge of the gap, over. go curling straight down, and I like climb back over, like covered in sweat. Like ten minutes later, it's just like the old days. <laughs> so you're gonna, you guys are gonna start heading up towards the very peak of the town where the tower mm -hmm. is, and on the way there, you're just gonna keep a lookout for the uh, gang activity. Yeah. yeah, I just want to know how much there is. You know, what are they doing out here? Um, I have been in a gang before, so I might know what gang activity Ooh, looks like. That's actually Ooh. fucking great. I guess I'll I'll try and help too. I'll pop I'll pop a few uses of my old sacred sniffer and see if I can sniff any gang related evils to point uh, <laughs> to point Chip and Jay towards. Smells like gang shit. <laughs> My sense cannot be used that way. Yeah, I use my I use my crypt sense. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Bro's a blood out for real. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude, that's so fucking funny. Blood <laughs> out. Uh, Lord. <laughs> Unless you're like going up to people and interacting, we'll just say roll perception. Can I give him advantage? Um, and the flavor of it is me putting, turning my nose up to the sky and sniffing for gang fumes. I'm just I mean, gonna he take can the have, Jay, he has, he has, um, he has, um, oh yeah, I'm helping, so. Oh, okay, so you're already good. Yeah. I'll give yeah. him guidance! Yay! You get a d4. It's your destiny. 25. I'd like to know specifically how many I see, like, what is the volume? Of, of gang? <laughs> what a weird way to say that. <laughs> what a, what I'm looking for the gang volume. volume. I'm looking for. I just want to know how much it, gang activity we see and like, what um, they're listen, doing. Based on what we heard, I'm not expecting to see much because it sounds like it was totally yeah. isolated to that area, and we're going uphill to the more yeah. bougie districts. So, on your way out of this district, you will pass a few things that catch your eye. Uh, mostly, just similarly, like in body language, the way that this uh, figure came in, they are, are. You could you could tell that there is like. There's a building of power in this group that they're attempting to do through uh, um, intimidating people for, for money, like different homes, businesses, whatever's left here in this district, you know, whoever just on the street. Um, it it kind of reads like a, a gang that you were in, just like prices back when you guys uh, um, were in that port, that port town. Very, very similar. Um, and the whole, you can just tell the whole goal here is this leader... For whatever reason, it needs a certain amount of money for something, and these people are just weak enough as he builds his sort of network of a, of a, of a thieves' guild, if you wish, a guild, uh, um, a gang. They're just weak enough to where they can be bullied into it. Um, and as if it grows more, you gather like 
they'll start hitting the other districts and stuff, using numbers to intimidate and whatnot. Hmm. What if we infiltrated from the inside? Since you're asking for, like, volume and stuff, you've seen you've seen a few. It's kind of hard to, to gauge what the total number of people in his gang would even be. But just yeah. based on activity, like, almost every street, you probably see something. Uh, even from the rooftops, you see a few figures kind of, like, notice you on the roofs uh, and, and duck behind... Uh, um, you know, you know, like a chimney or get back into the alley as you run past. Uh, so you probably just like, you know, 50 to 100 gang oh, members. Let's put them all in one place and fill the room with gas. I actually agree with that. <laughs> the Joker. <laughs> but you guys run up the rooftops doing your, I guess, your exercise for the day. You're headed uh, all the way up to the crumbled raft tower, which you arrive at all at once. Right. And... In front of you, again, is that sort of uh, half-circular wall, a stone wall, but it has, like, uh, there's definitely, like, a hole kind of blown into it. It's very run down. It's not as, it's not there. It was there to keep people out, and now it's just, like, you can easily climb over it. There's no rope needed this time or anything like that. And, yeah, but it doesn't seem like anyone's kind of back there. It's just rubble, stone, destruction. Hasn't been cleared out yet. Oddly enough, despite everything else being rebuilt mostly and rebuilt newly, like everything is just, um, it's like a town full of very creative individuals who even come up with this sort of architecture and buildings and stuff is what it feels like now that you're here. But this one area is like a no-no zone. It just hasn't been messed with. Make, make a perception check, Jay. Yeah. We always bond on rooftop. Yeah. Funny, dirty. Reminds us that we're above everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you see like a little scrap of leather that catches your eye underneath some of the rubble near the tower. Like kind of wedge between two stone, like blocks of stone that crumbled from it. Yeah, I'd go up to it and like try to pull it out. It looks interesting. Enough. Okay. All right. You pull it out and you find yourself holding a bound leather booklet that has John on the front of it, written on the front. <laughs> and under that is like a subtext, su- a subtitle, log book. Hey, guys, give me. I think this belonged to Marshall John. Marshall John's diary? Or log book. I mean, like, in reality, very different things, but. Says John, could be a Bible. You never know. <laughs> I'd like to look at the first page. Yeah, okay. First page. Um, You open it up. It does appear to be like a journal. Oh. It says... They said your diary. Dear diary. (laughs) No, we can't. Jack, (laughs) close it. I close it. Jay, we can't. We cannot (laughs) read his diary. If it was going to say like a timestamp and say journal log entry, that would have been fine. We can't read his diary. But can't we? It's It's just another way to phrase it. Journal entry is the same thing. It is the same. It's we'll a journal, really. see where it go. Let's see where it Let's goes. Let's see what the uh, first page. Yeah, I'll you open know. it back up for her. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's all about business and and serious things. John's a no nonsense kind of guy. Yeah, exactly. He couldn't have written anything crazy in here. It says, "Dear diary, my heart." Wilts like a rose. I close it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so we felt it out. It, I don't well, think we can read this. Oh, I didn't know John was so poetic. I didn't either. either. Kind of makes me wonder what the next stanza is. Uh, I open it back up. I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm starting to feel wrong about this. Guys, I, I have mean, to what's pee what's wrong? Chip, laugh. Chip, like a like a wise man once said, <laughs> let's see where it goes. Just one page. Just one more page. It won't hurt anything except for, like, our respect for John. We we agreed on one page before, so let's still do one page. One page. Yeah, let's honor that. Let's honor that. Mm -hmm. It feels right. Let's see what kind of juicy shit we got in here. Dear Diary. (laughs) (laughs) I I shut it. I don't know if I can see in the same way if we read this, though. Do you know what I mean? Oh, my God. Make up your mind. I know know what you mean, but I also know... (laughs) That we're going to have to bring this to him because that's the right thing to do. And while it's there, it's going to burn a fucking hole in my brain that we haven't read that first page we said we were going to read. And if we walk away from it now, we're never going to read it. So just the first page, 
you know, page one, top to bottom. We can end early if there's something inappropriate. Okay, okay, all right, okay. All right, page all right. one, top to bottom. Because top who, to bottom, no, who, but then it's it. Because page it. one of a diary is always like and, you're warming up with a diary. It's not going to have anything crazy. Let's just get a feel for what this kind of diary is. And, I think. <laughs> and, if, and, if it's, and if it's anything strange, we... Forget about this. We moment. forget it ever happened. We never found it. We were never here. Easy. Yep. And never we burn it. John. We burn it. We burn it. I we burn it. Uh, gonna have it, it exploded <laughs> in the fire all the way back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, if that happens, okay, you so know? now we're getting into some territory of like, oh, I should probably tell him. Well, let's just read it. Let's just okay, read yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Dear diary, <laughs> my heart wilts like a rose. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Power through, through, power through. My sorrow leaks like a hose. <laughs> He's rhyming. Why? Why is he rhyming? In the shadow of love, I froze. Oh. And now I drown. Drown in my woes. Uh, he's not using, he's just using one rhyme scheme. <laughs> Shay, okay, I'm trying to read. I'm sorry. My life has highs. <laughs> <laughs> and it has lows. Okay, I close the book and chuck it off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> you do it angrily or nonchalantly? That matters. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I think about it. I definitely, I just kind of nonchalantly, I think. Just just like the sound of the book closing and then just a like wine shot just gets tossed over. You know. Yeah, that was a good call. Yeah, that was, that was tough. Yeah. I think that he's left that part of his life behind him. He'd probably want us to have done that. Oh, but what if he read like a later page? See <laughs> go down and get it. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'll go down and get it. I start climbing down. I start climbing down too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you, <laughs> you actually make it. You, you said you threw it? I just kind of tossed it behind my back. Yeah, like okay, that it. Pretty easy. Um, okay. You find it again. What were you? <laughs> yeah, you reading the back, next one? Bring it back up. Bring it back we're, we're, up. We're, Don't read it alone. Don't read it alone. Twenty something pages in. Here. Just like <laughs> I would, I would ordinarily, but I'm no longer in bit mode. I'm actually really invested. I thought you were. Wait, wait, wait. You're. I thought you were on page one. What are we doing? Are you still reading we, that wait, same is, poem? Is, is, is page one not yet ended? We're skipping ahead. No. Oh shit! Bring it back up your chip. I'm bringing, I bring it all the way back up. We haven't even finished page one. And I sit down. My life has highs, and it has lows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Every moment wanes. I begin to lose hope. Shit. Let's see what's on like page fifty or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> flip all the way through. That was Maybe the first entry. Better at writing. That was uh. That was like dated. You probably guessed like a month before you guys got there. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, I want to, yeah, what's the last entry in this? That's, that's the Let's last, thing, the yeah. last entry. <laughs> yeah. The last page? Yeah. Dear Diary. Oh, Every oh day he starts it like this, okay? <laughs> Why? We are laughing as well on top of this <laughs> Okay, is that actually all that it says? <laughs> Alright, I, I, I kind of weigh it in my hand. Um, wow. <laughs> does it weigh? I have a question. Does this diary weigh roughly one to five pounds? Yes. Yeah, I pass it over to Jay. Do you have that, uh, do you have that spell prepped? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I grab it. I flip a couple of pages back. One more. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, no, rule of three. Rule of three, Jay. We didn't think about this. Rule You're of three right. is always it's it's golden. Comedy. It's it's not gonna this is the thing that was it's not gonna be funnier. This one will be better. This, this one will be better. Literally no way. Dear diary. These weights on my shoulders I lift. <laughs> <laughs> so
surprising. Why am I not dummy thick? <laughs> <laughs> Throw it away. Shut it. It's, 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 it's away. gone. <laughs> As you do, immediately I reach my hand. No! And I, uh, I, I, I pull out, um, I pull out Destiny's Blade and I rest it on my lap and I'm gonna cast, um, Augury and I'm gonna ask, Dear <laughs> Destiny, should we have read another page? I feel like there was something really good on the last page that we're never gonna know. You uh sent you already you already sent it off. Yeah, yeah. it's gone. It's catapulted into the into the distance. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. At least ninety feet. So <laughs> you you get back. Your mind sort of and gets taken back to that consciousness. The sand. Yeah, yeah. I look into the and sword. It reads, Most likely. Yeah, I throw Destiny's blade over my shoulder. <laughs> That's it. You think he has a new journal? Maybe. What if he writes about us? Can I do a history <laughs> check to see if he's ever mentioned this? <laughs> His journal? Yeah, like having a new journal or like noticing that he's ever had it. Like oh, a new... no. You don't need to roll for that. Never has he mentioned any of that. Ever. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm starting to feel not good about reading it, guys. It's okay. Uh, I definitely can't. Get my original image of John back. Now Can't I just really imagine him as it. like That's the biggest man I've ever seen in my life. With the biggest heart. He doesn't even think he's dummy thick. Yeah, he is. He is dummy thick. Should we dummy tell him thicker, that? Dummy thicker than the rest of <laughs> us. What if we tell him we that he's gonna know we read it? Oh, that's true. Oh hey, there you guys are. You see Dre walk up. It's not actually oh, John. Shit. <laughs> scared the fuck out of me. <gasps> Okay. I know it's scary because they, they have again. the same gravel. <laughs> oh, you you notice now that you lost him when uh, Ollie, you guys took Ollie to the canvas yeah. district. He walks up, he's holding like a bag of baguettes. He like um, I thought you were Marshall John. Actually, no, it's like the bag is like uh, tied to his fucking hips. No, better yet, it's like a necklace, a necklace of bag of baguettes around his. his uh, incredible. He's like like wearing the bag. He like chomps out of one of them. <laughs> you gotta try one of these. I walk up and I like. Pop one out of the bag, like push it up from the bottom, it flies out of the bag and lands in my hand. I'm gonna go. It's really cool. Taking Ollie home. Great and bad and great. We found out there's gang activity in our area. Um <laughs> and and I think we're gonna put our you know put a stop to it. Why not? Lit <laughs> You're yeah. free to join if you want to uh the guy really shoot sucks. that eye laser. Chip. Chip was saying um, that he said that the sick people need to hurry up and die because they're not paying him money. So, Chip, like, you said that? And I, no, he said that. No, the guy oh, okay. said that. Yeah, the guy said that. Oh, let's go, let's guys, let's go kill him. And I was laying there on the ground pretending to be sick next to the sick people, and he just told me to move. Well, I mean, you he know, didn't walk around. He could have just stepped over you or walked around. I, yeah, I mean, why like, did we let him go? I don't understand. We could have had him. We could have turned him into slush. Oh, oh, because. And I reach into my bag and I don't have anything. Um, cool. Because I dumped everything out. Uh, <laughs> and so I, I lean over to Jay. Oh, God. Jay, do you have matches? Um, <laughs> oh, you dumped everything out. Uh, yeah, I have Tinderbox. Okay, I take her matches. Because. And I light a match and it lights up onto my face. I have a plan. Well, uh, don't take too long. It looks like they're setting up come some kind of festival down there in the square. I'm gonna go uh, check out this, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah. Umbrella it's District? Yeah, I'm going that I'm, way. I'm gonna be yeah. honest, Ray. You're kind of ruining the moment. This is like a, a very and, r real reenactment of like, it's not about all that down there. It's about this up here. Yeah, Guys, now that Dre's talking about it, I don't really know if I'm feeling this whole party thing. I kind of just want to chill up here with I, you guys. I want, I want to kill that guy. Yeah, that's what I want to yeah. do. Do you think we could hire some people to like pretend to be us to or something? To be us at the party? Yeah. Why not? That makes the most sense. Wait, can <laughs> we, thing to do. You have my same last name. You can just take the credit for me. Try put on a wig, <laughs> and you can just be Jay, right? Do so you think you could kind of make uh, make Grandpa look a little younger? <laughs> sort of. 
Just find any random orphan. He'll do it for me. <laughs> we're actually we're actually looking for a new uh, new small boy. So, all right, kids, enjoy. Uh, just find me when we're heading out to see you again. I'll be around right. here somewhere. All right. Okay. That wasn't a bit, by the way. We really expect you to dress up and impersonate <laughs> us at this party. He he'll do he's it. gone. He'll do he'll it. Okay. I yeah. believe him. I'm sure. I'm sure he'll do it. Can I do an insight check to see if he's gonna do it? Yeah, you can do an insight yeah. check to see if he's gonna do it. <laughs> okay. I got a fifteen? Nope. Good. Not gonna do it. Anyways. Shit. Okay. I don't Shit. Think he's what were you do saying? It. I'm look at the match burned out in my hand. <laughs> oh yeah. And I throw it and I pull out another one. Whoosh. I've got a plan. And then I recite the plan I don't know yet. Um. <laughs> oh, it's like the what we've uh, very good. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a callback. It's like a callback to our first time. Yeah, Gilead Gilead finally gets it on like the fourth. I match. think you've done the match callback like five times. Have we actually in the campaign? Okay, but okay, but we're in, we're in the same place now. Now it's like in the same place. So now it makes the most sense. <laughs> Does anyone else have any uh, other bits or callbacks they want to do up here? We got, uh, <laughs> we got a lot of, a lot of good a, ones. What's so far. a barrel? Uh, um, uh, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. You didn't know back then either. I guess. Didn't know, so, didn't really know what? Oh, you will. Could I convince you that there's something evil in that bush over there? Oh, uh, is there? Yeah. Okay. I run over <laughs> to the bush and start like punching it. <laughs> We're gonna probably go take down this. Yeah, we should ring. go to the. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys want to go to the party? No. Do you guys want to go to the party? I feel like it, it's gonna like be it's built it's up. Gonna be like a, it's gonna be like a town festival. Um, yeah. You probably saw some of it while you were running up the roofs to the tower. People were just setting up like little stalls and carts and awnings. Yeah, we can like and maybe stop by for different a second, activities. But... Is it because of us that they're setting it up? It was. I mean, pretty implied. You said he's just gonna throw a party because you guys are back. It doesn't really matter if you're there or not. To be honest. Okay, cool. I just didn't want to like you know what I mean. Like the curtain pulls back and we don't show. Like or these whatever. guys. I mean, it seems like with how expediently they're setting up anybody here after what they've been through, they look for reasons to celebrate and they do. That's it's cool. it's more of like a tight, much more of a tighter knit community. So it's up to you on what you do if you attend or not. It's gonna be probably all around the middle section of the town. I'm gonna be straight with you, Jay, and Chip. I am currently very tired. There are six of you each in my eyes. <laughs> Everything is kind of just rotating constantly. How does in eight hours sound for all this? Yeah, sure. Because I am, as they say, pooped. Poop is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. All right, cool. <laughs> Should we just like uh, fucking whatever? I just fall asleep up there in the tower. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna so try. We and... could, we could leave him here to sleep, or and I look at Jay. I'm like laying, looking up towards the sky. I assume it's getting late. There's probably stars out. Maybe question mark. No, no, yeah. Oh man, it's probably maybe maybe I'm sunset. Looking directly, it was I'm looking directly here. That's good. We can get up early. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I look over towards Chip. Yeah. We get to Gillian's? Wait, what? What? What did you say? What did you, what did you, what did you, what say? Did you just say? <laughs> no, what did you, 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 Gillian's? What? Gillian's? I said we get to Gillian's. What? No, what are you oh. saying? Oh, he's saying, okay, I heard we get to Gillian's. He's saying weekend at Gillian's. Oh, weekend at Gillian's. Oh. Did you just <laughs> not understand that I said weekend? Yeah. No, no it just sounded it like illegible. Nobody. I don't. I didn't either. Yeah. <laughs> you just didn't like. Okay, I want a weekend at Bernie's Gillian. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> awesome. I'll take his left side. I got the right. And we go to the party, and Gillian, I paint eyes on his shut eyes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and. Okay. Okay. We're just spinning <laughs> at this point. You can <laughs> walk around with okay, it. Okay, like this that. is always what happens if you leave us alone in a tower or in any situation for longer than 20 <laughs> we, minutes. We don't is, you know, point this out. <laughs> we you start to fester and become like our own organism <laughs> that no longer is playing the game or has a DM, and I we need help. Um, I'm going to end this session now. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, I'm so confused. Oh no! I don't know what's I'm, happening. I, we're all in it. We're just like bidding up at this tower, basically. We're just okay. being goofy guys with each other. Gillian is just gonna sleep for the next eight hours. He's gonna probably wake up at nighttime. Yeah. Um, 
and have the worst sleep schedule ever, but it doesn't really matter. But, <laughs> I mean, you can do the gang thing in the morning if you so desire. But if there's anything you guys want to do while he is asleep and you're carrying him around, anything, you can just write it down and yeah. we can we can g- go through it in the next session, probably. Guys, do we, like, ever have an outro we do on just roll no, with it? No, we like, do we ever, like... We just kind of say that's the session no, and then says, and, that's where and that's what we're in the what session. What if we and had we go, one? Ah! And then we go, and then we'll talk about this on just rolled with it. <sighs> what if we, and like, came over. up with, like, a little, like, catchphrase or, like, a little song we did or something? And that's the salsa. Roll it, roll it, roll it! <laughs> Just keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Keep and rolling, that's the rolling, rolling. salsa. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of our patrons over at Patreon, but especially the high rollers this week, who I will now pull out my big scroll and read all of them off of. A Moon Beast fan, Agar Steeljaw, a pirate with gout, Apple, Baka7, Bazozo, Beans, Big Blue Bear Boy. Bloke Fiery, Blue Blend Blop, Boss Goat, Bumpus King, Buttery Toast, Cal's The Folded Pizza Zone, Captain Lafayette, Sarazaku, Charlie Darling Songbird, Kojo Woe, Cornier Comet, Crobins, Dapper, Daxi Boy, Death Claw, Depression Made Me Buy This, Elvish Cyborg, Emperor Pengu 69, Erica Moon, Firefox 12092, Floofleboo, Fly Guy, Funny Hats Incorporated, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Grand Archer, Murder, Hollow Headed, I Have Jedied, Now I Am Jedead, I Love You Guys So Much, I Am In Your Walls, I'm Butt Flusting, It's Aphena, It's Sea Fresh, Jades 2604, Jay Newell, Gem is Rad, Joey Madness, Jordan Darlin, JRWI Enjoyer, Catus Batus, Kev Senpai, Lemon Leviathan, Lord Ticklefish, Luke Ranboo, Lukers, Man Made Imp, Me Forever Mate, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417, Mr. Nacho, Mr. Doble, Mr. C, Skeleton Aficionado, Narwhal Shellfish, Nonex Lodal, O Kerberos, Red Sus over Paradise, Riker Kuroto, Sandy 007, Skeltaboo, Sorcerer Punk, Spin Yaks, Stushja Dude, Sweet Cacti, Teddy Love Bites, Teeny Ghosts, The Awesome Man, The Drift King, The Game Hunter, Vapor, Wild James, Willistrator, and Zerberus. Wait, but there's one more. You will rue the day. Rue the day I what? Thank you guys so much for listening to yet another episode of Just Roll With It. And of course, you can become a high roller today by going over to patreon.com slash just roll with it. Thanks so much, and I will roll you later.